So I was working on my new project, Facebook for Ferrets, and my controller was trying to find a ferret. But it couldn't. The URL, ferret slash 12, didn't match any routes that I had in my API. That's because I let my pet ferret define my API. So instead of a RESTful API, he created something a little bit different. So we're going to investigate and see how we can change Ember to match the API. We're going to start by seeing that we've used the REST adapter, so it'll expect a RESTful URL. This is how the REST adapter is defined, and we have the find functionality, which creates an AJAX call to whatever is defined in build URL. For my first implementation, I just decided to completely overwrite find with the URL that I needed. However, as you can guess, the second that I wanted to do anything besides find a ferret, this created problems. So I used a custom adapter. The ferret adapter will only take effect when I'm trying to find a ferret. And so if I need to find an owner or the breed of mice, then I'll use the typical REST adapter. But if it's trying to find a ferret, it'll look for 12 dash ferretses. This is awesome. However, we soon need to do more than call for just one ferret. We need to ask the server for all the ferrets. In a RESTful URL, it would just be slash ferrets. However, my pet ferret has decided to store those at slash wonderful slash ferretses. If you call find without an ID or any arguments, eventually go to find all in the REST, rest adapter. Find all, as you can see, calls build URL. As a matter of fact, a lot of things call build URL, not just find and find all, but find query, find many, find has many, find belongs to, create record, update record, and delete record. And we could update all nine of these things individually, but that is exhausting. It's much better if you have an API that makes some sort of sense to just update build URL. This what you're seeing here is the default implementation of build URL, which you can overwrite. So if you can keep your API under some sort of control, it's better to use build URL instead of overwriting every single one of those nine that you use. However, even if you don't, Ember Data still has your back.